Ken writes in, in episode 25, you say there are no full-length feature films done in IMAX because of the cost and amount of film required. But in episode 26, you say, Avatar is in IMAX 3D. What's the deal? I know, I know this one. What is the answer? Uh, it's IMAX DMR, Ken. Avatar wasn't shot in, in IMAX with the big fat IMAX cameras with like the two minute reels. It was digitally remastered into IMAX 3D for display in IMAX theaters. Just like Beauty and the Beast, Apollo 13, Star Wars Episode 2, The Matrix Reloaded, The Matrix Revolutions, 300, V for Vendetta, You Do 3D, blah, blah, blah. Basically like pretty much not Most. all, but almost every feature movie you see in IMAX was almost entirely shot in regular 35 millimeter. It's really interesting, right? So, you know, like the Jonas Brothers, the 3D concert experience. I mean, later this year, Alice in Wonderland, Toy Story 3, Harry Potter and the Deathly Hallows, Tron Legacy, amongst others. Uh, almost all those are going to be in 3D. That's like the big buzzword, IMAX 3D. Oh, yeah. None of them were shot in IMAX. All of them essentially going through some fancy up conversion using IMAX DMR that I, and I quote, digitally enhances the image quality of 35 millimeter motion pictures for projection on the screens up to eight stories high. The images are just as big, clear, and beautiful as those films originally produced in the 15 slash 70 millimeter format. I don't know if I buy that because if they could just shoot 35 millimeter and scale it up, they wouldn't have all those expensive cameras and shoot all of that expensive film. And I really want to go back in time and see The Dark Knight in, uh, in, in IMAX so I can see, because basically parts of The Dark Knight and parts of the, the last Transformers movie were shot in IMAX. That's one of those weird moments when it goes from like the letterboxes. Remember the letterboxes we talked about and the aspect ratio thing? When The Dark Knight goes from like letterbox to full screen, that's the, the IMAX parts they shot where everything seems more alive and delicious and tasty and all the details in there that's the IMAX stuff so I don't I don't really buy into it that the Dark Knight parts that were shot in 35 millimeter looked as amazing as the IMAX sections but basically can nothing none of the okay parts of a couple four feature length movies have been shot in IMAX yeah but, but it's all basically it's, it's upscale they use a really fancy upscaler at the IMAX factory. <laughs> Extra sharpening. Just Extra turn it up to 10 or yeah. 11. Yeah. So everyone has a halo. It's all about halos. So most IMAX really is <laughs> IMAX. It's upconverted. Yeah. Okay. IMAX feature movies. The stuff that comes from IMAX where it's like, you know, IMAX volcanoes of the undersea, IMAX, we go someplace dangerous you can't get to with a really cool camera. That stuff's all shot in IMAX and it really looks amazing on an IMAX screen. Not that the, the feature, like, I mean, Dark Knight probably looked amazing, but... I'm just saying the 35 millimeter parts probably. <laughs>